Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with David Milne, the two-time PGA Teacher of the Year and co-coach of the Indonesian golf team. We're at Jundalup Golf Resort in Perth, Western Australia. And David's gonna teach us how to get more distance and swing speed whilst maintaining our control and consistency. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna invite you to become a member of our 19th hole clubhouse and channel. It's where you can watch hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, tours, and signature programs. But before you become a member, let's find out how to get more distance and swing speed whilst maintaining our control and consistency. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. I get asked by golfers, how can I improve my distance without losing my control with the driver? So the solution really is to understand how you can get more club head speed and not lose the accuracy because the problem with most golfers is that they get to the top of their backswing and the first movement is the upper body trying to power the club and they put the power on way too early. The, the club actually comes and arrives and as I said, they, they feel like they, they're making more effort in the swing, uh, but they're not getting the results like they normally would. So they actually lose distance. So what I'd like to show you here is somewhere where you can go and practice to get extra club head speed, which is gonna translate into more distance without losing your accuracy. All you have to do is to get your setup position and from that good setup position, complete your backswing. That's the first thing that you need to do. For most golfers, they tend to, before they can get to the top and they're really into the downswing mode, the transition is just way too early. So what I'd like to do here to show you is that when you get to the top, what I'd like you to do is to ensure that the hips, before you actually get your club into position, the hips actually starting the downswing. So if you can get that feeling of just a little bump with that hip, then really from that point there, you are really going to get more club head speed from your normal swing. So really help yourself to more club head speed without losing control by just getting to the top. And just before you get to the top, if you can allow your hips to start and not let the upper body take over. So that's the really the, the, the tip I'd get you to do and practice because when you get that lower body starting down, the arms fall down by your side and then your shoulders and arms can really whip that club through to get that extra distance without losing control. Remember, just before your arms get there, get those hips to start down. It's not a big movement. It's not about doing this. Just allow the hips to, to start. That drops the arms and clubs in a good position and you can really get that nice speed past the ball. So that's how you're gonna get a lot more distance and still maintain your control and accuracy with your clubs. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful or ask a question in the comments below if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you feel a lot more confident, consistent and in control of your golf game. So I want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole club and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19th hole.club or click the link in the description below. And as a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict, like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson or you'd like to ask some questions or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another lesson, leave a like and a comment below and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember, 
to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too so I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing and commenting guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.